You're not just going to stumble. Oh, da 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 da. Oh, I found the kingdom. No, you have to seek for it. You have to look for it. And you have to seek for it. It's in scripture. Seek for the kingdom of God and his righteousness. It's a right way of doing things by God. And that right way of doing things is called righteousness. And once you come to Christ, his righteousness is imputed upon us. It's a doctrine of imputation. His righteousness, he receives our sin. He never sinned, never committed sin. But his righteousness is imputed upon us. You can never be righteous on your own without Christ, without the Holy Spirit. I can never be righteous. So he says, seek his righteousness, not your own righteousness. Amen? Amen. He says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things. Somebody say things. All of these things will be added unto you. They don't all come at one time, people. They come in increments. They come in increments. They don't come at all at one time. Be patient. Stay in the kingdom. Cultivate your relationship with God. Seek his face, not his hands. <laughs> seek his face. He said, you seek first the kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you and come in increments. I remember uh, the church I used to be a part of when I, when I gave my life to Christ. They used to have what is called testimony service. And they would pass the microphone, probably about five or six people before service, and they would give a testimony service. And then we, everyone would get a chance and say, oh, God did this for me. Some people say, oh, God, I got a check in the mail. People say, oh, my, I, my clothes are my home, different things. People, all these different testimonies. And I would listen to them week after week, week after week, week after week, week after week. And I'm like, Lord, when are you going to bless me? I'm in the kingdom of God. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not fornicating no more. I'm not doing those things. I'm not telling lies. I'm not getting high no more. I'm not doing all these things. I'm coming to church. I'm paying my tithes. We're paying tithes. I'm doing all these things. But I say, when are you going to bless me? One day, I was in Atlanta, Georgia. It was hot, man. I mean, it was so hot. It was so hot. You know, you, you walk, you driving on the highway, you can see the fumes coming up. Just fumes, it was one of those kind of days. It was hot. I was sweating and I was walking. And I said, God, when are you gonna bless me? I need a car. <laughs> I need a car. I'm paying my tithe. I'm doing this. I'm blessing people. Every time I see somebody say, I'm hungry, I give it to them. I don't ask no questions. You told, cause you told me, you said, you see someone who have need, you said, give it to them, don't ask no questions. So I do it. But when are you gonna bless me? Man, I was talking to God, that's how I talked to him. And so, the very next day, or, or say within the same week, I said, you know what, I'm gonna walk on faith. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm trusting God. I believe he's gonna bless me. I went to this place, a car lot. Very, very nice cars, nice vehicles. And I saw one that I liked. I said, sir, I like to um, look at this vehicle. He said, okay. He started talking to me. All of a sudden, I heard the voice of the enemy. Have you ever heard the voice of the enemy? Sure you have. Sure you have. You might not know what it is, but know what it sounds like? I'm going to tell you what it sounds like. Listen right here, listen. You can't afford that. You can't get that. That's too nice for you. Nah. You can't make it. You don't make enough money. That's, that's above you. That's the enemy talk. That's how he speaks to you. You don't deserve that. Nah, not you. You can't, you can't get it. It's off limits to you. You can't get it. I told the man, I said, sir, I'm a child of God and I want this vehicle. I want this. He said, sir, <laughs> he said, I'm a car salesman. I don't do miracles. I said, oh, I know, sir. I said, I'm a child of God. 
and I want this car. I'm sitting there looking at it, leather everywhere, everything, the bells and whistles. I had never had a car of that statue, that caliber at that point. But I said, you know what? I'm trusting God with some big stuff, big things. And that was big to me at that time. So he said, I tell you what, young fellow. He said, I'm no kind of miracle worker or anything like that. But he said, I'm going to give you two business cards. And I want you to go ask through the finance office, ask for these two guys. One of them name was Bryant and the other one name was Andrew. I got the card, looked at it. That's my name, Bryant Andrews. God gave me a blessing with my name on it, folks. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things will be added. Everything that you need, everything.